Hi, Next Chapter Book Club friends. Happy Earth Day. Okay, I'm going to hope you're staying safe, guys. I'm going to read this book. One, number, chapter one, Crispy Fall. It was fall, Mr. Putter and his fine cat. What? Pictures. Oh. Mom. Ah. Uh, Oh, hey, guys, my mother was talking about me. Um, uh, She'll be next after me, okay? You'll see what book she'll read next. It was fall. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby loved fall. Mr. Putter liked the apples. Tabby liked the leaves. They both liked the crispy wind. Look at that, guys. <clears throat> And sometimes their neighbor, Miss Teaberry, brought them rhubarb trifle. They really liked that. Fall was fun. One day, while Mr. Putter was raking leaves and Tabby was attacking leaves, they heard the school bell ring. Dong, dong, dong. Mr. Putter stopped raking. Raking. He looked at Tabby. I miss school, said Mr. P I miss school, said Mr. Putter. I miss pencils and books. Ooh, look at that. See him raking? <laughs> Tabby stopped attacking. She purred. I miss globes and erases, said Mr. Putter. Dong, dong, dong. Went the ball, went the bell. I would like to go back to school, said Mr. Putter, for just one day. Just then, Miss Teaberry's good dog, Zeke, ran by. Zeke was wearing half a cake on his head. The other half was inside Zeke. Mr. Putter looked at Zeke. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby. I have an idea, said Mr. Putter. Tabby purred and purred. She loved Mr. Putter's ideas. Mom, I'm Mom, I'm a quarter way done. Okay. Look, I already told him you'll be next. Mr. Putter knocked on Miss Teaberry's door. Zeke stood beside Tabby. All of the cake was now inside Zeke. Miss Teaberry opened the... Oh, shoot, guys. I need to show you the... Okay. Hey, guys. Do you know I really liked it when my mother um, read the cloud book on, on April 1st? Yeah, that was nice. I love it. Did you hear that, Mom? I did hear it. I'm not doing any unrelated topics. Miss right. <laughs> Teaberry opened the door. There you are, she said. Yes, here I am, said Mr. Putter. No, I meant Zeke, said no, I meant Zeke, said Miss Teaberry. He stole the banana cake. That was banana cake, asked Mr. Putter. Mr. Putter looked sad. I love banana cake, he said. So does Zeke, said Miss Teaberry. Everyone looked at Zeke. Zeke looked happy. Zeke looked fun. Zeke looked showy. Miss Teaberry said, Mr. Putter, I have an idea. Oh, good, said Miss Teaberry. I love ideas. Do you love globes and erasers? asked Mr. Putter. Pardon, pardon me, said Miss Teaberry. Mr. Putter began telling her his idea. Tabby purred and purred. The first grade teacher at the school thought it was a lovely idea, show and tell. She said to Miss Teaberry on the phone, "What a good i what a good idea! The children love cats and dogs. Do you do yours do tricks?" Miss Teaberry looked at Zeke. He was wearing his water bowl. 
Sort of, said Miss T. Berry. Wonderful, said the teacher. Come right over. Miss T. Berry called Mr. Putter. It worked, she said. We're going to school. Hooray, said Mr. Putter. But the teacher wants pet tricks, said Miss T. Berry. Look, the dogs and the bull and the ladies on the phone, guys. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Pet trick, pet tricks, asked Mr. Putter. He looked at Tabby, who was napping in the soap pot. Uh-oh, said Mr. Putter. Tabby knew how to nap. Tabby knew how to purr. But could Tabby do tricks? Show and tell. Mr. Putter and Tabby and Miss T. Berry and Zeke walked to the school. They stepped through the door. It smells just like school, said Mr. Putter. They found the first grade room. Miss T. Berry straightened Zeke's tie. Mr. Putter patted Tabby's head. Then they went in. Mr. Putter was in heaven. It was a room filled with books and pencils and globes and erasers and best of all children. The children told, uh, oops, I mean, the teacher told the children that Tabby and Zeke could do tricks everyone wanted. Tabby purred, Zeke sc scratched at his tie. No one, no one did a trick. Uh-oh, said Mr. Putter. Oh, dear, said Miss T-Berry. Suddenly the school bell began to ring. Dong! It was very loud. Tabby jumped straight up in the air. She landed on a little girl's lap in the front in the front row. The little girl screamed. Dong! Zeke jumped straight up in the air. He landed in the in a box of cupcakes. Don't eat all the cupcakes, the teacher yelled. Dong, Zeke ate all the cupcakes. Then Zeke did a trick. It was a good trick. Tabby did it, too. Look, guys. It was, disappear it was a disappearing trick. And that was the end of show and tell. The worst ever. Back home, Mr. Putter made tea for Miss T-Berry while Tabby and Zeke napped. They looked at Zeke. His tie was full of cupcake. They looked at Tabby. Her tail was quite festive. All right. Mr. Putter smiled. Miss T. Berry smiled. Then they started laughing. It had been the worst show and tell ever, but they were happy. Mr. Putter got to go to school, and Tabby and Zeke learned a few new tricks. Okay. Hope you guys are staying safe, and we'll see you later. Bye.